All right, welcome back, guys. So in the last video, we created our user resolver, creating the qu queries as well as the mutations to log in and register. And then we also added this little who am I to get the current user that's logged in. In this video, um, I thought it would be a good idea to go do uh, the comments instead of the ideas, which is the next logical step. Uh, instead, we're going to we're going to do the comments first uh, because it's all it's a bit smaller, and it'll give you a better grasp of GraphQL and how to create things. So so far, our comment uh, schema is just the type close, and let's see. Um, lost my train of thought. Hold on one second. Uh, okay, so. Let's actually add a query really quick of uh, just to get a comment by the ID. And we're going to do ID being required to return a comment. And we're going to make it also required the response type. Or actually, it could be no, so I'll do that. And then we're also going to do mutations for both creating the comment comment and deleting comment and it spelled create wrong here so let's fix that now the mutations should mirror the services that we created earlier so create takes in idea user and the data uh, we we have the user coming in from the auth guard, uh, so we need to take in the idea ID as an argument here. So we're gonna do that, and uh, which is gonna be an ID, and then we also need the the data, uh, which I'm gonna call comment, and then for delete. I believe we just need the ID of a specific comment. So this one's a little easier. We just do ID. And then that's all we need to do in our GraphQL file. Now we need to create a resolver. So touch source comment comment.resolver.ts. Um Let's do this, resolver from GraphQL, export, export class comment resolver, constructor is going to inject our comment service. And let's give this resolver a name. So just comments here. And then before we start working, we're going to want to not forget to add the resolver into our providers of the comment module. So comment resolver goes here. All right. And then finally, let's add in what we said we were going to add in. So first is getting the comment by ID so that is a query query which is just comment is the name and the autocomplete is annoying and this takes in the arguments of just ID so let's use the decorator args and make sure we import it ID ID is just a string, and this one is just going to be return this dot comment service dot. That's odd. Why is it doing that? Um, show. Oops. Oh, I forgot to put private here. 
there we go, that <clears throat> works out. And remember, show is to get the specific ID. So if we open up our service, uh, we're using we're calling this method right here. All right, now for our two mutations, mutation, and what do I call this? Create comment, create comment. All right, so we're getting three arguments here: idea, and or actually two arguments. And we also have to hide this behind the guard. So use guard. Um, new auth guard. That way we can get the user object. So let's get first args to get the idea. And that will come to us as the idea ID, which is just a string. Then the next argument is the comment, the actual comment, which is just a string. And then finally, from the context, context, we're getting the user. So, um, let's do the await really quick. So comment service dot create and this is the ID ID user ID and data and now we just need to create these two pieces of data so first data is going to be of type comment DTO which we created a while back and we construct it by just adding comment in here and this comment comes from the argument. And then finally, we're going to destructure the ID <clears throat> from the user. And we're going to alias it as user ID um, oop, to pass it here, which is ex expecting a user ID of type string. OK, and finally, the last mutation which we also need to use guard new off guard then this is delete comments okay and let's see this is return this dot comment service dot destroy and we want the ID as well as the user ID And we're getting ID from the arguments. So args ID string and then context user user. And of course, we have to alias the destructured ID from the user. And this is so that we could have multiple IDs without any naming com conflicts. So we save that and start dev. We could test out the comment resolver. And hopefully everything goes right. So currently in the database, I don't have any comments, so I need to go makes one. So let's uh, go into our API. Um, send, let's just get a random idea like this one. And get the ID. And test out the create mutation. So, oops, mutation, create comment. And I just want to get the ID and the comment back. The idea is going to be this. Whoops. I'm going to space this out so it's easier to read. And uh, create comment takes, what else does it take? And the actual comment, of course. So comment 
cool idea bro and we send and there we go we created a comment and let's see is there a way to get this yeah, yeah actually there is without getting the without making the idea resolver we could query the who am I ID username comments and comment that should work and there we go that's the comment we just created and I did not get the ID so let's get the ID really quick so this is we need this ID to query for a specific comment Oops. ID comment I think I have created yes okay something went wrong oh no return this dot comment service dot show ID that should have worked oh <clears throat> I wonder why um let's see Oop. Can I return now for now? Return server error. Comment service dot show. Show. Repository find. Hmm. Let's check the REST API really quick. Which is slash ID, so comments slash this send. Well, it does come back, so what did I do wrong? Send, fail to fetch, send again, no. Why is it no? That's really odd. Alright, well let's let's check the delete really quick. So mutation delete comment and delete only needs the ID, so that should be good. So we send, delete is null, can I return null? That is really odd, so there must be a problem getting it. So, let's create a new comment. Do, 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 do. Create comment. Oops, I'll use it. And <clears throat> I need an idea, so oops. Um idea. Send and if we copy this UUID, and we can delete 
that should work. It doesn't. Hmm. So, I think what is happening is that we are... We might need to change this to an async function and wait for the response. Async awaits async awaits. Let's copy this again. Wish. Oops. Yeah. Test again. <clears throat> Great. Send. And then comments by the idea. Oops, the ID, I mean. Send. No. That's really odd. Internal server error. Cannot get this. Weird. Alright, one last time before I give up. Your name. Go. All right. Maybe I was using the wrong ID. Okay, this does exist. Send. Test again. Okay, so the delete now works, but not the query. Hmm. That's really weird. Alright, so I guess I'll have to do some experimentation, but I'll definitely get back to you guys on this. Okay, so I know what went wrong. So, still no, but the reason is I'm using the wrong query decorator. This one's coming from Nest.js Common, and it's expecting these, this to be the query from the URL parameters. So, what you actually want to do is make sure you're getting query from GraphQL, the, graph, the Nest.js GraphQL module. So, this will fix everything. Doo -doo -doo. After it loads up, press send, and there you go. It works. Um, adding the async await to all of these actually does help with some of the timing issues as for the delete comment. And then for this, uh, just make sure you, you're importing the correct query decorator and that was my fault because I was using auto imports for most things and this query has or there's two queries um, from Nest.js so there you go <clears throat> small problem on my part but um, yeah anyways I will see you guys in the next video where we tackle the idea of resolver Alright, 